Okay, where'd you go? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Planet Wellness. This is Patrina and Ronald. Welcome to our Wellness Wednesday live here on Planet Wellness. Mm. We're a bit early today because we are away on a course. You can probably hear a bit of noise in the background. However, if you're here, please say hello in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. Mm -hmm. And it's hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay. Mm -hmm. Do also share this video with anyone who will find this um, sharing useful. Mm -hmm. So over to you, Ronald. Today we're going to be talking about... We're going to talk about something that's very, very relevant in today's um, virus environments, in the A fever environment, and colds and flus, right? So this is gonna help you a hell of a lot. Um, I came across this particular product about 40 years ago uh, when I was suffering a bit of A fever after serving in the Vietnam War. My, my immune system was quite compromised and, and every summer I'd get, uh, every summer I'd get this pollen and my nose would be blocked up, eyes itching. And I, and I discovered this herb was, and it was a huge help because it it removed all the, all the pollen uh, rubbish and residues that I had in my body, and it worked very well. And and what we're talking about is a herb uh, called fenugreek, F E N U G R W E K, and in Indian they call it methi, M E T H I. That's where it originates from. Now, a lot of Indian restaurants and a lot of Indian uh, aswives, they use the fenugreek seeds in their curry. When they're making Indian food, they'll mix that with ginger, garlic, uh, chili and so on. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna give this a little container. Uh, you can see it's a like, little yellow seed, right? And that's the fenugreek seed. And that is a very, very powerful mucus and phlegm remover right it is good for many many things but i have found it's excellent for removing uh, a fever part if you uh, particles that cause a fever in your body it's uh, also very very good for removing mucus from your lungs and your bronchial tubes and uh, and it's also very good for reducing blood pressure right so but i use it with a few other ingredients to make it even more powerful but you can also use it in your everyday cooking. For example, as little as if you do oatmeal, for example, you could cook oatmeal and you could put about a teaspoon of fenugreek in your oatmeal every day and that will remove that will help you to remove phlegm from your from your stomach, from your intestines and from your colon and from your lungs and your bronchial tubes and even in your throat and your nose, right? So, if you suffer from sinus uh, a fever, colds, flu, any sort of viral type infection, taking fenugreek on a regular basis two to three times a day will definitely reduce the inflammation caused by these so-called allergens. What I mean by allergen is, for example, if you have a grass, a type of grass or a cherry tree pollen uh, or some type of blackberry pollen that affects your, your nose and you get hay fever, um, that you can actually help to alleviate that. Now, just to give you a bit of insight, when you get a fever, the pollen, I've seen that on the microscope, the pollen, the pollen little granules that comes from the, from the grasses and the trees and so on, it is like a harpoon, like a harpoon, right? So in other words, you've got the, the pointed part of the harpoon and then as it goes in, you've got like, like a shank like that and then you've got the hooks, so as it goes into the septum of the nose, the pollen, the harpoon then it comes out like that and you can't pull it out. It can, and that's what causes you to run your nose, to have a runny nose and sneezing and all that because it's trying to remove this, this harpoon-like substance which is the pollen. And won't have just one of those, it'll have several, several marks like that, several like harpoons that, that we've got as another secondary hook. And that's what causes a fever and asthma and all that. So when you do the fenugreek, the fenugreek helps to tighten the, 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 the cells that are in the nose, in the septum of the nose. That's where the soft part is. And that stops the pollen from causing the allergy reaction. Get the idea? Now, so if you, but the key is this, don't buy the, the don't buy the, the, the fenugreek from a, an ordinary shop. Go to an Asian shop 
uh, like we've got one in Barkenside called Venus, V-W-N-A-S. It has huge turnover. A lot of Indians buy food. A lot of other people buy food there as well. They have a lot of big turnover, so their, their fenugreek is always fresh, right? That's the, and the coriander is fresh and so on and so on. Now, I'll give you the formula. If you've got flu, asthma, a fever, phlegm, anywhere, inflammation in the stomach, that is a marvelous uh, start for fixing things. What you do is this, you get a pot, teapot, and you put in it three teaspoons, I'll repeat that, three teaspoons of fenugreek seeds, okay? Three teaspoons in there, then you put two cloves of garlic and a couple of slices of ginger, old ginger, eight olive leaves, three raspberry leaves, and you can also add some bay leaves as well, two or three bay leaves, and you can also even add some curry leaves and some rosemary. This And this combination is a combination of very, very strong different antioxidants. So when, you, when, you, when you're oxidizing, you're inflamed. When you're inflamed, you're oxidizing. So this mixture I've just said, uh, you, you put boiling water on it, you pour boiling water, must be boiling water, leave it there for brew, leave it brew or infuse for seven to eight minutes. And what happens as a result is that you will have a yellow greenish liquid will come out with all the goodness of the ginger, the fenugreek, a slippery helm was another one I mentioned. Um, put that in there and then about seven or eight minutes later, you pour that into a mug, teaspoon of manuka honey, manuka honey five plus. And uh, you can buy 35 plus, but it's very expensive, but five plus is quite okay. Teaspoon of that. Stir that in, and then you'll have a really delicious mixture of all these herbs, and then you sip that, you sip it until everything you drink. Now, the contents will be in your pot. Guess what you can use with that? You can put that in your food at night. So if you're making soup, you take that what you've used for the day, you put it in there for the soup, and you have a double bang at it. You double use it, it's fantastic. Now, if you, if you suffer from a very bad A fever, you must make that mixture three times a day, three times. If you've just got a mild cold, once or twice a day, it works, right? So this is the recipe. If you if you want more information, Petrina. Yeah, please please contact us. I'll I'll share the link on yeah. the in the comments below, and yeah. you can also book in a um, free consultation with us, a yeah. 15, 20 minutes uh, Zoom call, mm. so that we can help to uh, check what exactly your symptoms are, what you're suffering from, or yes. you know anyone who is ha having a specific health concern, we can help guide you towards yeah. the right path as well. Yes. And I will be getting this recipe typed up later on, so it gives a couple of days, and mm. I'll be sharing it on this uh, post as well. Yes. So look out for it. Yes. Um, anything and, else and for that? Yeah, what, what, I would, what I would like to say to you also is that if you're clogged up with phlegm and mucus, mm. your skin will show it. Your skin will be sallow, tired looking, you get wrinkles and everything else. But when you remove the phlegm and the mucus and inflammation from inside, your skin will bloom. I mean bloom, right? So Petrina, is, as you can see, is 53, looking like 35, and I'm 75 next month. And people think I'm 50, 55. The skin tells a lot about you, right? So, and, but you must, you must reduce the inflammation inside and that's what gives you great skin. Yeah. Makes sense? And hi, Janet. She says she's just tried this. Yes. So yeah, t let us know what you think and you know how, how it's tasted, yes. how, how you've uh, felt with it. Yes. And what, what I do with the fenugreek seeds, especially because it's very hard, you can't actually chew it. Yes. I normally, when I cook rice mm. or like, other dishes i'll just add it to the to the to the um cooking itself and yes. it actually just softens it and you don't really even realize it you're eating it after it's been cooked with rice yes that's a good point because um if you put it in the tea like in a teapot uh it's it's fine because it, it, it'll stay as it will stay in the pot right you need the room you need to go out to okay the you'll stay in the pot so what actually happened then what we'll do is we'll work it out that way okay okay all right anyway thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next wednesday take care okay bye, -bye.